Chris attacking. He's with us here on Mad Dog Unleashed. Jerry, how about the... Uh, I know you had a great regular season, Missouri Valley, the whole bit. Let's talk about the Mississippi State game because there was a law there at Mississippi State that they were not allowed to play against teams that were um, integrated, and that team bailed out on that and said, the hell with the law, we're going to go play this game in the NCAA tournament. I know you had some nice things to say. Let's do that game first in East Lansing. What can you tell me about the Mississippi State NCAA tournament game? Well, going into East Lansing, uh, the first thing that we have to say is that um, they won their conference two years in a row, and they did not come to the um, tournament. But they decided, and you got to look at the president of uh, Mississippi State, uh, Calvert, uh, and then the coach, Babe McCarthy, they were really pushing to to go uh, to the tournament that year. And when we get there, we wasn't sure if we were going to play against Georgia Tech, who was all white in the tournament, had runner-up. But Mississippi State uh, had won the conference. So we wasn't sure who we were going to play. And we were hoping it was Mississippi State. And when we got there, there was Mississippi State. I tell you, and, and the game of all my life, of all the games, that was the one. As you get older, you realize that. Prior to that, the big game was winning the national title. But uh, when you get older, you realize because of what this game meant. But anyway, when we got together at half court, Joe Dangle, the captain of Mississippi State, and myself, and uh, they were – giving uh, rules and all like that. And I looked at him in the eyes, and I, I saw the warmth. I smiled at him, and he, he didn't smile back, but I still, he had his game face on. So I felt the warmth there. And when I shook his hand, the place lit up. Really? I will to this day with flash bulbs just popping all over. The place. I will never forget that. Wow. I mean, we just blew up with light. And it startled me. And later on, because Joe Dan and I got to real, be real good friends, uh, he said it startled him too. And I went back uh, to the huddle, and I was in a daze like. The, and and uh, later on, when I realized what they had gone through, they had to sneak out of Mississippi. Um, Ross Barnett, the governor, was trying to serve an injunction on them, and they did everything. They hid. The, the one, um, the president went to Nashville, and and Joe Dan, uh, um, the coach, went someplace else to avoid getting, um, getting getting the injunction. So I, I mean, that game uh, meant means so much to me. I just get overwhelmed even to talk about it. 61-51 for Loyola. And then Cincinnati there, Jerry. They had one twice in a row. Juckers, their head coach. Not Oscar. He's gone. But a very, right. very good team. And you came from a big deficit, 16 in the second half. And you tied the game up with a big basket with a couple seconds to go at the end of regulation before the uh, you won the game in overtime. Let's go through that for a sec. Go ahead. Well, the, you, you're fighting your way back, and, and everybody on the team, because we we played in spurts. We led the nation in scoring in 92 points per game, so we could spurt on you. But we were 15, 16 points down, and we just gradually just eating at that lead. And finally, with about six or seven, we hit a spurt. I think I hit two in a row after – um, being guarded very well by a guy named Tom Thacker and so on. But w- what happened is that they were up one and they had the ball and um, with about 12 seconds to go. And I had I had to follow him. I tried to steal it, uh, but I had to follow the Cincinnati guard. And he went um, uh, and shot the first one in. So – He's up two. No th- if he hits the other, Game's we only got eight seconds. Nah, no three-point no three line. You're correct. Go ahead. Right. Guys. Right. So he misses, and uh, Les Hunter grabs the ball, throws it to Miller, 
and Miller throw it to me, and I just let it go. And I roll in between the foul line and the back circle. And I, to this day, when I let it go, I didn't feel anything. I truly didn't. I could have thrown an air ball, and I would have been. I wouldn't have been surprised. But it hit nothing but net and put us in the overtime. And then Vic Rouse uh, hit the. I was supposed to take the shot, but I didn't feel it. And Ron Bonham had played me real well from Cincinnati, so I threw it to Hunter, and Hunter took a shot. But them preparing, expecting me to take the shot, had uh, kind of got out of whack. And Vic Rouse was on the other end, on the other side of the rim, take it and put it back in, and then time went out. Wow. And the place went wild. The only team in, to this day in the state of Illinois to bring home a national championship. How about that? Now, Texas mm. Western two years later, Jerry, but you beat them to it with seven black starters with the um, with both teams, and then Texas Western sort of make it a big deal in 66. What was your take about that when Texas well, Western won it two years later? Yeah, I, we had, we met a fact, in a tournament, Jack Egan, the one starter who was awesome of a ball player, but he got in an argument with the refs in a tournament, and uh, he got kicked out of the game, and a uh, six-man was black. So for the first time wow. in 1962, wow. there were five African-Americans on the court at the same time. Wow. So um, that yeah. in itself, but of course... You know, you'd like to give Texas Western a lot of credit um, for having five. Uh, and strange enough, Mad Dog, one of the things that it cleared up, a lot of people would say that Jack Egan, who was a great leader, but without him, we we wouldn't know what to do and all like that. Good point. And, yep. And that. But Texas Western went the whole season with five African Americans. Good point. So that eliminated that back in the day. And so we we were um and and one thing that I really thought we should have gotten the recognition and the reason we're getting it now is because it was blacks and whites coming together to change things on the basketball field. Here you got white guys right. sneaking out to play, and and whereas the Texas Western Kentucky seemed like a a fight, like a battle, ours was together. Good point, Jerry. Uh, we 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 got to run. You did a so. you you did a superb job. We'll keep in touch, oh, pal. Thank you. You got to <laughs> do that. All right. Hey, great favor. Good job, Jerry right. Harkness. What a spot with him from Loyola. We continue on Mandogan.